Okay, so let me repeat just briefly. Um, first, I put in 10 mu of uh, uh, ammonia hydroxide, and then after that, I put a 2 mu of uh, uh, phenylethylene. You see the color change from colorless to, to red, right? That is expected because in a in, in the first case, ammo, ammonia hydroxide, that the pH is basic. It's about 10, so uh, around 10, I should say. Okay, and then you get a red color. Okay, so that's the step one. Okay. The second step is I want to put in some of the dry ice. Okay, very cold. You know, let me see if I can. Just drop it. Oh, you look at the, you know this fantastic bubble coming out, right? And then you know it's kind of boiling. What is dry ice? Question. What? CO2. CO2. Okay, so let me put it put it there. Um, dry ice add in. Well, this one first uh, is this one. Is there? I put in final. Let me write spam And then after that, dry ice. Number three, dry ice, which is carbon dioxide added. And then you see bubbles. <coughs> Okay, what is the color? Still red, but uh, you know, if you look at the, the intensity of red is not so impressive anymore. Okay, so I let me keep adding. Uh, by the way, this uh, this uh, demo I didn't uh, pre-run the demo because it looks like uh, uh, the reagents are precious. You know, I asked the stockroom to to prepare that. I don't want to waste it just to, you know to to uh, pre-run the experiment. But, you know, I fully trust the people in the stockroom. You see color changes, right? And now it becomes uh, pink. And wait, if you wait enough longer time, see what's the color right now? Well, still whitish pink, I would say. Okay, and then if you wait for even longer time, the bubble is, well, first of all, let me ask, what is the bubble? Why there's a bubble? Why is this bubble? I, I threw in, uh, Stuart. Carbon dioxide. carbon dioxide gas, because you know, you, you put in the uh, carbon dioxide that is solid, which is very low temperature. The water, well here in the aqueous uh, solution, that's room temperature. So, so the, boiling, the boiling temperature for carbon dioxide is you know, way below room temperature. So if your carbon dioxide dry ice um, encounters this uh, um, room temperature, uh, liquid it suddenly boils, okay, so it evaporates, you know, it's sublimation kind of. Um, and then you get the carbon dioxide bubbles. And then the second question is why why color changes? Why color changes from from red to right now it's almost uh, colorless, right? Still there's a little bit you know pinkish color. But uh, you as I, as I mentioned, if you wait for longer enough, you will see it's colorless. Why? Any ideas? Well, certainly, it is something to do with uh, carbon dioxide. Right? Color change is something to do with what? pH. So, so then we know it is about the carbon dioxide, it's about the pH. What is the pH change? What is the pH 